M0 FXB Zygu X6100. You can see here we are transmitting and receiving and decoding FTA. So how do we do this? This is the R1 CBU firmware version 28. To make this work you just put an image that you can download onto an SD card. So an SD card like this, just like a 16 GB will be plenty. It pops into the side. Move this over. Just here. Try and get more light on that for you. It just goes in there, okay? Now to get the image on, you use Bellina Etcher. It's a it just basically transfers the image that you've downloaded onto this device, Berlina Etcher. I'll just show you that on my PC. So just Google Berlina Etcher, download, this opens up, you select the card, select the image you've downloaded from the link I've provided, flash, and then wait for it to finish. It's that simple. Then just get the card and just pop it back in facing forward and turn on the device and it will boot with this new image. Now obviously there's a lot more to this than FTA. If you press the app button just to come out, we go back to the normal receive. Now most of the controls are normal. So you tune as normal, change the step as normal, run your tuner as normal. As you can see there, and up and down the bands, just no different than you normally do, even the on-screen PTT. And you've got SWR scan, you've got Wi-Fi. Go here, see if we can find, there it is there, Wi-Fi. It will scan and search, I'm, I'm already connected, it will scan and search your Wi-Fi. And notice it says Bluetooth, which is quite interesting. So I can turn it off and on, but Bluetooth, I haven't seen that in the settings yet, but anyway. Uh, let's just keep going with the FTA and you've got you know TW keying and filters hit the app button hit FTA and if you plug an antenna and you can actually view your GPS position SWR scan FTA it automatically switches the frequency for you all you have to do to transmit is get your call sign in that's all you have to do which is nice and easy to see if it picks up some decoding first. TX is enabled. And I find that all you have to do if it doesn't start straight away and everything will appear on screen when it starts to decode. Not doing it yet, but if I do this, then this, it just, it will say, right, I'm gonna transmit. USB digital, oh look, it's starting to receive now. And there's the transmit. And you can see we're receiving and transmitting. You can set your power. You've got the time all synchronized, especially when you've got Wi-Fi. I haven't plugged the power because I find that it's picking up interference from the you know the power supply which is messing with the signal a little bit and once it does receive a signal it goes into auto reply you can select people I haven't done that yet but apparently you can select I'll go up and I'm gonna push now the next transmission will go to, see that I, I scrolled up, selected, and the next transmission should go straight to him. OK5AG, okay, and you can see it's doing it there. So how can you not enjoy doing this? It's just too much fun, and it's free. I've made quite a few videos installing it.
push this button here, push the volume. Just wonder what it would do actually. So it just took us to volume and took us out of uh, of what we were doing. App FT8, we're back in. And then we'll do the whole to get your call sign in, all you do is when you're in app. Go to setting here, number two of three, call sign, and start to add. So the way you do it is you, you press first. See the number there? You press. It allows you to turn. You put your, your ABC in. When you're done, then to go back to numbers, go back to number one, press, and put your numbers in. Then go back to ABC, and you can, of course, go here where it's red, capitals, we're in caps now, small, and then to go back to letters, you do press 1. But once you've got your call sign in there, scroll all the way along until you get to the tick. But remember, when it first starts, it sort of puts you here. And unless you press something, nothing happens. Okay, just remember that. Oh my god, we have to delete my my wrong call sign in a minute. There you are. And go back to the... And select, and app, FT8, and it just does it. And we're going to do the enable as well. And the TX call enabled. I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't kick in straight away on the receive. You just do it again. It seems to be working. We've got OE9 now. That we've just picked up. So if I go up one, select them next time it transmits and there is a whole settings menu you can look at next to where we put in the call sign there's a big settings menu so the call sign was just here wasn't it and then to the right it said settings press that and then you get a big long settings menu look at all the nice colors I'm hoping we can change the spectrum scope So if I press this button, it changes. Now you hold it down. Oh, it turned it off. Before, you know, funny how there's two on-off buttons. I think we'll leave it there anyway. But before, it actually told you, you know, the R1CBU firmware name. You know, the 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 person that made it, R1CBU. Bye for now. All the best.